I thought Notre Dame was really impressive. A, the fight was incredible. Uh, they clearly played hard. They had a good strategy. They have a very stout defense. They have a, some some really good players. They just didn't have a quarterback. And I, you know, I don't I don't like picking on the players. Tyler Buckner was fine early, but then he you know it's just a, it's a tough job to get thrown in your first college start into that environment against that team. So can he improve? Um, if he does, they're going to be really good. And, yeah. um, you know, they'll, we'll see what they are out when they play Clemson in what, like six weeks or something like that. Or is that in November? Yeah. It's November, mm-hmm. like November 5th, I think two months there, yeah. you know, uh, you know, that could be a real interesting, you know, we'll see that, but I, I like Notre Dame. I thought, I thought they did a nice job and, and I think they're going to have a very successful season. And, you talk to Notre Dame fans before this thing. They're like, I just don't want to get embarrassed. I don't want to get blown out. And you weren't, you know, no. all in all, very good night for, for Ohio, for, for Notre Dame. If you're going to lose by 11 points. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I agree. Look, they, they did, they had a good plan and they did play extremely hard. Their defense is good. I mean, they've got guys on all three levels uh, of the defense that can make plays and they're, they're stout uh, up front. Uh, the, yeah, the offense to me is an issue. Um, here's, here's your stat for you. If you, if you, if you want to get into the sky is falling, cause you always have to, when you lose, all right, Marcus Freeman has been the head coach. Tommy Reese has been the offensive coordinator, kind of almost the co-head coach, the, the guy in charge of the offense for two games. Now they've been outscored 37 to seven in the second half. Can't get anything done offensively in the second half. It was 14, nothing this game. It was 23 to seven in the Fiesta bowl against Oklahoma state. Tyler Buckner is okay, but he's not necessarily a big-time quarterback. Their receivers are okay. A couple of them made nice plays to make catches, but they're not burners who are going to separate. Michael Myers, a big-time tight end, obviously. Uh, their best run, their best offensive lineman didn't play, Jarrett Patterson. So that's another thing. You know, you're going to get better that way. But your running backs, do you have anybody who can make someone miss? I don't know. They didn't do a whole lot of that. Uh Notre Dame's going to be fine. They're going to win a lot of games, and yes, the the again the plan and the and the toughness were were both there. I I, I don't know whether that offense can get them to the playoff. I I'll be honest. I you know I think I picked this game. I picked Ohio State to cover. I I didn't have um a whole lot of faith in the Irish, and came away really impressed. Probably came away more impressed with Notre Dame in this game as a loser than than even Ohio State. I I was impressed with the Irish and it bodes well maybe for uh, later down the line here. 